Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday and that means it is time for another menu plan and I actually have a little grocery haul. Didn't intend to have a grocery haul but you know what happens when you walk into Costco. I went in for butter. But anyway, so this week's menu, it's a holiday week, my friends. Um, you know, everybody's going to be home. There's not a whole lot of cooking going on. A lot of leftovers, a lot of easy stuff, a lot of requests, going out, things like that. So take it for what it's worth. Um, also, as always, if you would like a blank copy of my menu planner, just go right on over to jonespointatplate.com and hit the free printables link. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can print out absolutely free, including a whole bunch of different menu planners. Um, hopefully I will have my website updated by Saturday morning. I should be able to get it done. We'll see. Um, but if not, give me a little bit of grace since it is the holidays. So with all that being said, I don't think I have anything else to tell you. Let's get right in to the meal plan for the week and then we'll go right into the grocery haul. Okay, on Sunday, which is Christmas Day, we will be actually having breakfast at the homeless shelter that we are volunteering at. One of the things that they, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not ask you to do. One of the, They encourage you that once we're done serving, we sit down with the residents and we fellowship with them and we eat with them and everything. So that's what we will be doing on Sunday. Monday, it was requested for sausage gravy and biscuits. I do not have the points there because honestly, I do not know them. Um, it will be the high octane sausage gravy and biscuits. I will just eat a little tiny portion and more than likely I will eat it over eggs, not biscuits, just to save on points and calories for myself. On Tuesday, I'm gonna make either oatmeal bowls or I might make the crock pot apple overnight oatmeal. That way I don't have to mess with it in the morning. On Wednesday, eggs and sausage. Thursday, guac toast and eggs. Friday, pancakes. And Saturday, an omelet and bacon. For lunches on Sunday, which is Christmas, we will not be eating lunch because we'll have late brunch at the shelter and then dinner. Monday, once again, um, not eating lunch because we will be hosting Doug's family and we will be um, having like a late lunch, early dinner type thing. Tuesday, just a picky plate. Wednesday, not eating lunch again because we are going out to dinner. I do not know where we are going out to dinner. I'll explain that at the end of the video. On Thursday, just a bowl of tuna with some tomatoes cut up in it, vegetables and fruit. Friday, a taco salad. And Saturday is a clean out the fridge day. Now for dinners next week. I talked before about what we do for Christmas dinner and how our family celebrates Christmas. Like we do not, we all get together on like Christmas Eve. We do not get together Christmas day. That started when we all started having children and our children were little and nobody wanted to leave their house on Christmas and take their kids away from their new toys and things like that. So we all stay home on Christmas. We may do a quick visit here and there, but we don't do a big formal dinner. I make three different kinds of soups that I will be making yesterday, today, tomorrow, and then they just are available all day, soup and homemade fresh bread for anybody that comes in to visit, for us whenever we get hungry, very casual. And on Monday, we'll be hosting Doug's family and we will serve the soup again, because I make a lot of it, with a charcuterie board. And then on Tuesday, everybody wants tacos. Wednesday, we're going out for dinner. I'll explain that, like I said, when I'm done the menu. Thursday, meatloaf, mac and cheese, and a vegetable. Friday, some homemade pizza. Not sure yet what kind, whatever strikes my fancy on Friday and whatever everybody asks for. I'm sure it will be some buffalo chicken pizza in there, some Calitalia. We'll see. 
And then Saturday's New Year's Eve. I do not know what is going on yet. I don't know if we're going out, if we're hosting people, if we're just ignoring the whole thing. So I'm not sure what's going on for food that night yet. So that is our menu for this holiday week. I'm going to get right into the grocery haul now. And then I'll come back and explain the out for dinner and why I have no idea where we're going. Okay, let's start with the Costco haul. We'll start with produce. We got some grapes, potatoes, carrots, and then some palm um, seeds or arnils or arnils or I don't know how you say it. It's a four pack. These were because Adam was with us and Adam likes them, so you know. And then we got, um, these were really, really inexpensive. 18 ounces of organic blueberries for $5. So we picked one of those up. I have a bunch in the freezer, but it's nice to have fresh ones too. Then for meat, of course, it's not Costco without this. And we also got another thing of Canadian bacon because with Adam home, we go through a lot of it. I bought six half gallons of milk. Normally, I get my milk at BJ's because they have the 1% milk. Honestly, I was not making another stop and we needed milk. It is 20 calories more. The 2% is 20 calories more than the 1%. I'm not sweating it. So we got six half gallons of that. We'll go through that in no time with Adam home. We picked up two packs of sesame bagels. They were really low on any kind of bagels. So we just got two packs of sesame. The thing I went in for, that's all I went in for, was butter. Grabbed a butter. Should have got more, but spent money on other things. Got a thing of heavy whipping cream. Because, well, eggnog season and, you know, whipped cream season. Picked up a massive four and a half pound bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips for baking, for pancakes, for melting down and dipping stuff in. Picked up 20 more pounds of sugar because I it, the price went up on this again. I wasn't sure um, how much exactly we had down there, so I grabbed that. And then grabbed also 20 pounds of the all-purpose organic unbleached flour. Then we bought some clothes. Let me show you. So this is mine. It's just, it's a long sweatshirt it's got a really cute bottom it's not tight but it's banded and it's got the little slit and it has pockets i just thought that would be cute for the winter over a pair of leggings just during the day while i'm home then i bought this it is ultra ultra soft it is a what do they call it a tunnel neck or a funnel neck sweatshirt really really cute and it's long an oversized, it's kind of a maroon color, I think. I think I thought it was. Maybe it's brown. I don't know. Anyway, it was really cheap. It was $9.97 and super duper soft on the inside and outside. And I thought it would be cute over jeans or leggings. Then Mr. Adam bought a pair of Banana Republic five pocket pants in khaki. And he bought a flannel shirt. It is... I think they call that the watchman's plaid it looks really nice on them so that was our costco haul oh there was also a pack of tuna fish eight cans of tuna in a pack but that's not mine so my grand total minus the tuna minus something else i bought for somebody else came to two hundred dollars for everything clothes and all now i'm going to show you just a teeny little sprouts haul okay at sprouts no your eyes are not deceiving you yes you are on the right channel we bought eggs yep because our girls are slowing down because there's not enough hours of daylight hens need 16 to 18 hours of daylight to lay an egg and we're not getting that right now so our eggs have gone from 12 to 14 a day down to six to nine a day I have a recipe that I'm making for pisels, and it, it takes a whole dozen eggs. And I just didn't want to risk running out of my own eggs when I can use those for something like eggnog or if I have a customer that needs eggs. So, yes, I bought these. The reason I went to Sprouts was for some food coloring. 
it is impossible in my area to find food coloring that is all natural. And this Watkins brand, as well as the Whole Foods brand is all natural. It is, oh, you can't. It is made with 100% natural vegetable juice and spices. Like in, for the red, they use beetroot powder and stuff like that. It doesn't have any flavor, but it is all natural. And it was buy one, get one free. So got two of those. Picked up some stuff for the guy's stockings. These are like peanut butter M&Ms, except they are all natural. They don't have crap in them. And you can see the colors. You can tell they're not, there's no artificial dyes in them because of the colors. Picked up some cashews for Andrew's stocking and some milk chocolate covered almonds for Adam's stocking. And then I picked up some organic dried cranberries. Um, I saw a couple recipes that I might want to use some dried cranberries for. So I just grabbed about a half a pound of those. Don't know if it's enough or not, but it'll do. So that's my teeny tiny little Sprouts haul. So friends, there you have it. Now I actually did have an Azure Standard haul, but it was only two things. I kind of forgot that my cutoff was coming up until like an hour before. And I did have all these things I wanted to pick up and just didn't, I, I just didn't have time to do a proper order. Um, so whatever was in my cart is what I ordered. And once again, my butter did not come in, um, but I did get four one gallon glass jars. And one other thing, can you guess? Can you guess? You know you can guess, come on. Everybody say it with me. A five pound block of raw milk cheddar. <laughs> I don't think it ever a month goes by when we don't order that. But anyway, um, so let me just explain about that out to dinner. Every year for a Christmas gift, we go somewhere as a family out to dinner that is more of a special occasion restaurant. It's just not your regular, you know, oh, we'll go down the street to XYZ restaurant or XYZ diner. It's always more of a special occasion restaurant, somewhere where we only go like once a year um, because it might be a little fancier, a little more pricey, something like that. So, you know, we've done Fogo de Chow, we've done the Melting Pot. I don't know where we're going this year. Um, I didn't plan it. Doug did. Now the boys know. Doug and the boys know where we are going. All I know is that it's about an hour away, and I believe it's in New Jersey. That is all I know. And they're not going to tell me. <laughs> so I was told how to dress. Uh, I was told to dress like for church. Um, Keep dreaming, Joni. Did you hear that? Adam hears me recording, and he hears me talking about dinner. I'm not quite sure why he said keep dreaming. But I don't know. Maybe it's all a big farce and maybe they're taking me to McDonald's. I don't know. But we'll find out Wednesday night and I will certainly let you know. So anyway, that is my menu and my grocery haul for this holiday week. I hope whatever holiday that you celebrate that you have a wonderful, wonderful time. I hope you enjoy every minute of it. Um, give yourself a little bit of grace, but not a lot of grace. And enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, enjoy the fellowship, and enjoy the food. So my friends, that is it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day during this crazy busy week, this crunch week. Or actually, I guess we don't even have a week anymore um, to spend it with me. I truly do appreciate it. I I appreciate every single one of you. I love every single one of you. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. So thank you, my friends. And I will see you all in my next video. Happy Vlogmas Day 23.